Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Max, and this video today will be on how to go ahead and save files to your external hard drive. I had a few family members that were uh, had some questions and some concerns about that, so I thought, thought I'd do this video and thought it would help best explain how to do this. So, first thing you want to do, obviously, is put your uh, external hard drive and connect, connect it to your computer. So take your external hard drive and connect it to your computer. After you do that, then you want to go to that external hard drive. And there are several ways to do it. But the easiest way, I find, is to come down here to the bottom. You'll see your little folder icon here. This is the File Explorer. You go ahead and left click that. And then you go ahead and try and resize it because we're going to open up another one. And over here on the left-hand side, you scroll down until you see your external hard drive. It usually opens it up as drive D, unless you have more than one external hard drive. Then it'll, it'll do the following, D, E, F, and so on. But this one just has one external in it, and it's a D. So you left click on D, and there's your hard drive right there, your external hard drive. Now you want to go back down to File Explorer again. You want to open up another one of these. And this time, though, you want to right click, and then you want to go up to where it says File Explorer again, and then left click on that. So once again, you right click on it with the right mouse button. You go to File Explorer, and then you left click from here on File Explorer. And it will open up another one, OK? Now from here, if you look over here on the left-hand side again, you have four basic folders, right? You have the Desktop folder. You have the Downloads folder. You have the Documents folder, Pictures, Music, and Video. The rest of these are other folders here. This is off of my uh, my cloud drive, my Google Drive. Don't worry about that. You might not have Google Drive. But you'll definitely, if you have Windows 11, you'll have desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, music, and video. So you just choose one of these folders or all of these folders if you want to save the files. The files that you created, you want to go to one of these folders. So let's start from here. Let's start on the desktop. You come to the desktop, and I created some test files here, right? So let's say you want to save these test files to your external hard drive as a backup, all right? Now, one way you could do that is with your left mouse button. Hold down on the left mouse button. And then I want you to drag over these files, these first four files right there. OK? And as you can see, it it put the, it uh, also included that one in the top, but that's OK. We want to get rid of that. And to get rid of that, what you'll do is on your keyboard, you press the Control button. And then you go to that file that you don't want, and you want to left click it. See? It went ahead and took it out. It's no longer highlighted. So now we just want to concentrate on these four files. And what you can do is you can right click. And if you look down here, you look at these icons here. The two that we, were, we are interested in is this one, which is the cut, and then this one, which is the copy. Sometimes you'll find them down here at the bottom. Sometimes you'll find them up here at the top. Just right click on it and you'll see this menu. And like I say, sometimes they're at the bottom, sometimes they're at the top. The first one we're going to do is copy. So we're going to left click on copy. And then we're going to go to our external hard drive. And then you can, and then from here, we're going to paste them in. Now, you can paste them one of several ways. You can come up here to this top, to this tr top uh, toolbar right here, and you'll see where it says paste. You can click that, 
or you can come to an empty space here in your external hard drive and then you can right click and then you can choose paste right here either or will work right okay. so yeah uh, that's my external radio at work anyway so you just click on paste and there you go now the problem with this is that even though you have this over here you come back later and you don't know if you have copied these same files here or not right it could be six months from now here's what you could do right what you can do is you can come back to your files choose all the files that you want to move or copy over to your external hard drive. So you, once again, you just find an empty spot and then you left click, you hold down the left click button and then you drag it over the files that you wanna save. Okay, now here's the best thing that I want to do. Here's what I think you should do. You should move permanently move your files from your computer to your external hard drive. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. You just go here to the highlighted uh, files, you right click, and you wanna choose this icon here. It says cut. And as you can see, uh, let me go ahead and close that. As you can see, when you right click, uh-oh, if you did it, if you did it and it, and it chose, it unhighlighted them, just go ahead and go back over them and highlight them again, right? Now, you right click on it, and then as you can see, when the menu opens, that's what this is, this menu, all of the icons are at top. In the beginning, they were down at the bottom. So now they're all at the top. And what you wanna do is instead of choosing copy, you want to choose cut. Copy saves a copy on the original heart, on the original destin, uh, source or the original folder, and it copies it to a new spot. But when you choose cut, you choose cut, right? And cut is going to move these permanently off of your computer and onto your external hard drive. Now, watch what happens because as you can see, we already have files in here previously, but we're, cop but we're moving other files over here as well. Watch what happens. It's gonna tell you, oh, you've already got these four here. Do you wanna recopy them again? Watch, right click, and then you choose paste. See, here you go. So, you can, it says here, you're moving 20 items from your desktop to your external hard drive. The destination has four files with the same name. What do you want to do? Do you want to replace the files in the, the destination? Or do you want to skip over these files? Or let me decide for each file. I don't suggest you do this because if you got hundreds or thousands of files, you're going to be sitting there all day. I don't suggest that you skip these files either because you want to make sure that you got everything, right? So what I would choose is replace the files in the destination. When you do that, it will replace the files with the most updated files. It's not going to hurt anything, but whatever recent update you have made to these files, that's the one it's going to say. And when you click on this, you left click on this, and it'll go ahead and copy it over. Now, if we go back over to our original side, the original folder, you'll see all of these fo folders that we had, they're gone. They're off of the hard drive on your computer and you have permanently moved them to your external hard drive, right? That way you can make sure that you have a, a, um, a backup of all of your files. Now, Another thing that you might want to do before you start doing that is you might want to come over here where it says new. When it's, where it says new is where you can create new folders, right? If you want to make everything a bit more organized, what I would do is I would come over here, 
left click on new choose folder and then you're gonna have a folder over here and then you can name these folders whatever you want right so I'm gonna name one docs then I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna click on new choose folder and I'm gonna name that one picks right and then we'll do one more and then we'll choose folder again and then this one we'll name vids right and so you do that and then you can move all of your files you know choose whichever one you want highlight them right click choose cut open up one of the folders right click choose paste and that's what I would do to organize all of my files. So that was just a little video. It was a little longer because I was trying to make it clear in my explanation. I hope I didn't confuse anyone. Well, thank you for looking at my video, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.